front where it says Ames real big. Hi everyone, I'm out here in State College, PA, and I'm at this old Nittany Mini Mart, which has been heavily vandalized with graffiti, and that's just within the last few years. Now, Google Street View showed this as being open in 2019, and then there wasn't an update until December 2023, so it's obviously any time in that four-year span that this closed, and... It's just amazing how the street view made it look really nice when it was open. It looked nice. It was great. And it had a Sunoco uh, fuel here. And then just within a handful of years, it's tagged as bad as it is. And it's just a wreck. Now, I'm sure part of that is because they use this parking lot for uh, parking for sporting events, I'm sure. Even though they got it all chained off, they might make you pay to park. Or it's for this building across the street here which doesn't really seem to have anything in it yet anyway I wanted to check this out I love checking out old gas stations now sadly the pumps are gone but they look to have been old ones when they were here but those are gone you just have the canopy that's left and a building just covered in graffiti so let's go see what we can see don't mind the graffiti if I go across anything without realizing it says something bad on it. I'm not doing that on purpose. It's just people, or kids I should say, just have nothing better to do than vandalize. I'm not here to do that. I just take pictures and leave. That's it. And video. Alright, let's go check it out. Here is the old Nittany Mini Mart. Nothing left here. The building though, however, as you can see all the graffiti on it, that is so unnecessary. Let's take a look. Aside from it being dirty and gutted, doesn't look horrible. The ceiling's missing a lot of tile. You'd have a lot of work in here to fix it all back up, but it could be done. Nittany Mini Mart. You see anything through here? A closet. Not much going on though. Now this will be a short video, but that's all right. I wanted to check it out when I saw it. I'm like, holy cow, this place is bad off. Now, when was this put in? October 10th, 2023. Okay, so they're trying to bring it back to life, I guess. Eating place retail. Dry top beverages. Hmm. Well, I guess we'll see what happens. Maybe it'll come back to life. I mean, look where it's at. It's in a prime location. The college is right down there. You have all this parking for the stadium, I guess, which isn't too far away. My God, look at this side now. That sun is blinding. I'm not used to seeing the sun at all. But... I was in Punxsutawney, as I mentioned in a couple of the other videos. I was in Punxsutawney this week, and, well, Punxsutawney Phil said we have an early spring. I'll take that. At least majority of the graffiti, majority of it, is on the glass, but it can be scraped off. But as for it on the walls, they'll have to repaint it. This side's a canvas back here. <laughs> I 
the door handle on that door. It turned, but the door doesn't open. It's alright. I don't really need to go in there anyway. You can see everything in there to begin with. I like the random picnic table here, too. Let's walk around this side. And people had to break windows. Of course they did. Dumb. Anyway, that was a look at this place. I'll put that picture from Google Street View that I was telling you about of how it looked when it was open versus how it looks now in just four years. But I know this is a shorter video, but I'm going to wrap it up and... Head on out of here and go somewhere else. Hope you enjoyed. All right, well, that was a surprise find. I didn't expect to see this, but yeah, gave us something to check out and walk around real quick and share it with y'all. So imagine putting another sheets in. There's plenty of room here if they take out that other parking lot and make it strictly for sheets. Could be done, but I severely doubt that'll happen. There wouldn't be a, a lot of pumps here, and I don't think they could do a drive through unless they redeveloped all this area right back here. But it could be done. Anyway, though, I'm going to head on out. I hope you enjoyed this video. What a nice day out here for February. I think I'm going around without even a hoodie on. And, you know, it's not the warmest outside. It's only 47 degrees, I think. 47 or 50. Somewhere like that. 47. So, I mean... I should be wearing a hoodie because it is a little bit chilly, but the sun makes it feel great. So, and in here I'm quite warm, even with the sunroof cracked open and the vent turned all the way to cold. So comfy. I like it. Anyway, I'm going to sign off. Thanks for watching everybody. Take care and stay awesome. I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.